Okay, we're back live here in New York City for Strata, Hadoop World. This is Silicon Angles to Cube. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. My co-host is Dave Vellante. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. And jump right in with a venture capitalist uh, who's been on the Cube before. He's Great the, to be the back. emerging star in big data VC. Mike Dauber, welcome back. Thanks, John. Uh, you're Thanks, also Dave. a very tall data kind of guy. You're tall. I mean, Michelle well, Bailey and I were talking about everyone in big data is tall. Well, you know, we, <laughs> you know, we just have to stick with the theme, right? <laughs> you know, we, 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 don't, we don't want someone who's, you know, 5'2 coming here. <laughs> big, tall data. <laughs> Data. So, Mike, uh, so you've been on last year. You're doing a lot of active investments. Yeah. You, one of your investments, Continuity, launched this week. We're going to have Todd Papiano, the CEO, who's known for his business acumen as well as his technical chops. Yeah, that's right. Um, if, if you want to really give him a hard time, make sure to just call him the business guy. <laughs> yeah, the, if I want to talk to Jonathan, <laughs> he's the tech guy. Um, that's right. <laughs> well, that comes with being the CEO. What, so what are you seeing right now? Obviously, we talked to Mike Olson. The whole application space didn't explode last year. Yeah. That was the big hope. Um, but analytics did, right? Yeah, analytics yeah. did, but also we saw uh, adoption of Hadoop increase um, in context of overall big data. So simplicity and analytics yeah. seem to be the themes. One, what did you see happen last year and what's happening now from startups that you're looking at from an investment yeah, standpoint? I, I, think I think the biggest thing, just looking at the broader market for a second, is Hadoop's hit mainstream, right? I think if you talk to people a year ago, you could have argued, you know, people are still sort of just playing around with it. It was a lot of test clusters, but now you're seeing, you know, Dow components, Fortune 500 companies, you know, really using Hadoop. And I think, uh, I think that's a really big deal, right? Because for any of these companies that we're investing in or any other VCs investing in, you know, someone has to be paying for this stuff, right? So I think that's, that's, that's one. I think the other thing is, I was commenting to someone else about this earlier, you just look at the show to serve as a proxy, this place is packed. You know, when we, when we went here last year, I mean, there were people here, but it was maybe 400 people, 500 people. I don't know how many people were last year. 1,400. 1,400 last but year? But they were at the Sheraton, and they shut the Sheraton down. It was smaller. I, I, don't, I don't remember last year being yeah. half this size. If they, if they had more space, they'd probably easily get 5,000 people, 6,000 people. Yeah, this, it, it, seems, it seems packed, and, and the, the quality of the people I'm seeing here, it's not, it's, not all, it's not all a bunch of VCs. I think on the company side, I think the broad theme that everyone is trying to figure out is some variation of, how do you get big data to mere mortals, right? And, and every company you're seeing, be it, you know, Platform uh, you know, an announced this morning, at, after Olson, Clear Story, all these guys, it's all around yeah. how do you make big data accessible to people who, you know, don't have PhDs from Stanford. So tools MIT. above the Hadoop stack. So tools and, and, yeah. and, and, you know, this is a theme that we believe really strongly in. You mentioned continuity before, I think that's a good example of it. But yeah you know, continuity is still f is for developers, so that, that opens up the world for developers. But then, you know, business users, if, if I know how to use Excel, I don't know how to use Hadoop, you know, I, maybe I can't write SQL queries in Apollo, you know, what, what am I going to do? I need, I, need, I need some kind of BI tool to make this a lot more accessible. I think you're going to see a lot more of those types of solutions. So obviously VCs invest in herds, and that's a good and bad thing. Well, bad thing if you're not, you know, yeah. if it's a me too market, but there's so much growth going on right now. Yeah. Um, that it's not too bad, it's still early enough where there's a lot of me too. What are the me too investments right now in the big data space? I and think we hear that all the time. Oh yeah, I big data business I plans I are coming I in. I think the, the me too investments that worry me the most right now are these, you know, connectors between Tableau and Hadoop in some way, shape or form, right? I mean, and I think being, being in that space, I think Kurt Monash had a blog post about this yesterday. You know, he, he said he'd, he'd interviewed like five of these guys in the last couple of weeks. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't sit there and just abstract all that value for, for Tableau. No one's going to pay for you, right? Because you just become interchangeable at that point. So I think that's, that's an area where you're seeing there's a lot of interest, but also, yeah. you know, yes, it'd be great if you could run Tableau natively on Hadoop. I, I don't think you can do it. But a lot of people who are trying to run in and fill in that underlying layer, I think they're going to be in trouble. But I mean, to that point, I mean, Tableau really predated Hadoop. It was, it was developed, you know, before this whole distributed system craze took uh, off. So absolutely. So you're seeing some innovation around visualization, aren't you? You are, and, and actually, you know, if you look at one of our core theses, it's always look where innovation is taking place and where the fundamental infrastructure is changing, and try to find who's going to be the next winner in that new in that new area. So look at totally different space for a second. Look at look at what happened in the cloud. Right, you know, you had CRMs that were native apps like Siebel, and you had Salesforce. You know, it was very, very, very hard for someone who is a native CRM application to be successful in the cloud. And we saw that all the way down the cloud stack. And so I think the question here is, we talked about this a little bit back in February. The question here is, what are what are the big disruptions that Hadoop creates that that necessitate a new innovation? And I would argue BI is actually probably first and foremost on that list. I, I think Tableau is a great company. I have tremendous respect for them. You know, if they were to sell me shares today, I would buy them, but not for their big data piece. I think Tableau is a great tool, 
but it was built in a different era. It still runs on a Windows laptop, right? And I think I think this sort of capability, you know, that Platform was talking about today, you know, this notion of scale out running natively on Hadoop, that that notion will win out over time. So is the EDW, that the legacy BI space, is that the, <laughs> the new mainframe in your view? I don't know it's necessarily the new mainframe. I think there's still a lot of reasons that people will use it. But if you think about what makes Hadoop great, Hadoop is, you know, schemaless on the fly. And so giving me a BI tool that doesn't take advantage of that capability, to me just doesn't make sense because the whole point of me dumping data in Hadoop is I don't know the questions I want to ask until I want to ask them. And think about how we all use Google. You know, if you had to use Google but you could only write queries once a day and the query, you know, you, 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 would, you would write questions much differently. But when you're looking for a web page, if you don't get the, the first hit with Google, you're like, oh, those are the search results. Let me refine Try that. Again. Let me come back with it. And and I think a BI tool on Hadoop has to have that same, again, these are business users. This isn't, you know, data scientists aren't going to use these BI tools that much. You need to get the volume and the, the dollars, you need to have someone who's really going to go out and, and service the, the Google users. So final question for you is, um, what are the investment areas that you're looking at relative to the new emerging areas right now that the, the, what people aren't seeing? That's always been a VC success trade is to find the deals that aren't hot. Yeah, you know the, what I'm the saying? The, the ones that aren't hot are, might be the hot ones. Yeah, that's right. I think, um, well certainly, we didn't think there was enough focus on developers. So we, we've, already, we've already sort of made our bet there. I think BI obviously talking here is something that we, we need to spend more time looking at. Um, you know, I think the big thing on big data is moving towards more verticalized apps. I talked to you guys a little bit about this back in February, but I just continue to believe that everyone's trying to solve sort of the one ring to rule them all. And that's just not... Matt Ocho believes the same thing, by the way. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not how, that's not traditionally how problems get solved, right? You, 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 it's very difficult, say for maybe BI or a couple things, to really solve problems around, around broad markets. You need to have you need to have very specific solutions for very specific markets. And some of these markets not, might not be very sexy, right? But you know, if there's, they're big enough markets, I think you're going to see quote unquote big data solutions as big data is brought to those end applications. We were just out at the IBM conference, IOD. Yeah. You know, and IBM's basically super gluing its analytics yeah. business to the big data meme. But one of the areas I was most impressed with is exactly what you're saying, Mike, is they are deep into all these verticals and they're yeah. actually crushing it within that, that oh. space. Because they got the resources, they have the knowledge, that's they have the domain expertise. So that's definitely a trend to watch. We, yeah, I think it's being able to productize that is yeah. where you'll see a lot, a lot more successes, right? I, and everything doesn't have to be, everything doesn't have to be a soup to nut solution, right? You can have, you can have a vertical slice of a large pie and still yeah. make a really good company. Mike Dabber with Battery Ventures. Guys, if you're an entrepreneur out there, go see uh, Mike. We endorse yes, him. He's a great guy, good venture <laughs> firm. Uh, he's in the, got his hands in a lot of pies here in the big data space, so uh, go give Mike a, uh, Mike a call. Battery Ventures on the Cube. This is Silicon Angle. We'll be right back with our next guest, Jeff Hammerbacher, Chief Data Science from Cloud Air, right after this short break. Thanks, guys. Always oh, thanks, Mike. Did you get a chance?